Well, this is awkward. <laughs> it's you, the beautiful Sims of Tanner, right here on the spot. And hey, it's summer outside, but I have a good thing for you to say. It's Christmas. It's early Christmas for you right here. Even if you have the sun on the sky, it's Christmas. You know why? Yesterday we talked about Tanner. A lot of things have been said about Tanner on the comments. Twitter has been blowed up with Tanner. And you know, the developer finally answered. Adam wrote on Twitter overnight, we need an only use fans account for Tanner. Should we create one or something like that? Hey, it's happening, bro. You have now a reason to spend your money. And right there is gonna be business. I'm telling you, man. Oh, I cannot think of how big the opportunity is going to be over there. The fan base is gonna grow up and we're gonna have so many things to look at. Companies of Tanner, cars of Tanner. The sky is gonna turn into Tanner. We're gonna have churches based on tenor, a new religion, a new cult based on tenor. But, ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for you. Do you think that beauty doesn't matter in today's world? Hey, if there is someone telling you that, I'm telling you, it's BS, straight BS. Cause you know why? They are ugly, yes, maybe they are. However, what I'm getting in with this is about the look that Tanner should had in uh, the early version of the game. And Tanner was not supposed to look like this, but he was supposed to look like this. <laughs> now, my question is, were you gonna love this guy just because of his look? I don't think so, man. I suppose that I was not gonna become popular if there was the design of this dude, old dude, and uh, I think the voice would have been different as well. However, yes, we got the opportunity. Beauty matters. I answered to you right here on the spot so you don't hear the lies on the street when you go out, if you will ever go out again. However, today's episode is not about tenor, but we are getting somewhere around tenor. Do you know the first impression you had when you joined the game and scrutinized? The first impression of you when you got the first jump scare of Tanner was Hey, is he a doctor? Yes, maybe he's a doctor. Why? He's wearing a coat. But what else? He's using a syringe. And why is he using a syringe and not just kill me? Because he wants to use me. And where this was going? We were thinking on the universe of uh, the developer and uh, if you are an old fan of what he is creating, welcome to the game. Welcome to the, the game, you got it on the title as well, who we gonna talk about? The Dollmaker. Tanner is not working with the Dollmaker, they don't have any connection, Tanner is not doctor, I got uh, everything right on spot of you right here. So. If you don't know anything about the Dollmaker, welcome my friend, please the door is open to you, enjoy, join us, come on, no donations did it, but uh, if you got something to spare, it's cool. We're gonna start talking about the Dollmaker, I'm gonna tell you who he is, because this is so messed up thing. If you played Welcome to the Game, I suppose this was your favorite character in the series, and... <laughs> Many people love this character. I, I think they think they he is the creepiest character ever because of the backstory he has and what is he doing. But first, let me take a shot of Fanta. Ah, that was good. So, get ready, hold your pants, and let me tell you, the doll maker is something you don't really want to talk about so much. But here it is, his introduction. So long story short, the doll maker is not someone who is only building, creating a doll, design a doll, 
it is a person who designs a doll from uh, living females. The dolls, those dolls you are seeing it, they are females alive inside them. And uh, it's messed up because they cannot see, they cannot speak, they can only feel. And these dolls, you know what these dolls are used for. Uh, I cannot get more into details, but uh, you know we are we are talking about here dolls. What we, can you think about dolls? Playing with dolls like when you are three years old? No, it's doll dolls for idols. Okay, so the backstory of this guy is coming straight from Germany. Originally, this story is uh, coming from creepy pastas and dark web, but. Uh, Adam changed it a little bit. This guy is coming from Central Europe, uh, somewhere around Germany, as uh, we see from his accent, hear from his accent. Good evening. I believe you've seen my work. I do hope you like it. However, I'm afraid this visit is not for pleasure, you see. Obtaining the girls I seek for transformation has become uh, increasingly difficult and I, I cannot risk my work by searching for new flesh myself. So, you will provide them for me. Find me a woman in this building and mark the door. I will do the rest. When I am ready for another, you will know. Do not fail me, do not test me, and I will spare your life. Time is ticking. I left the marker on your door. This guy is looking for woman. Those women are kidnapped. These women are kidnapped and then there is some surgeons done to them. These surgeons are pretty messed up so firstly uh, you can imagine this he cuts the legs and the hands of the woman so somewhere around here right so they cannot uh, longer walk or or grab things trying to escape right then uh, he heals the those things put silicone over them after that he gets the jaws cuts the jaws of the woman so she can no longer bite something you know and he also cuts the vocal cords so they can no longer scream this is some kind of headphones with maximum heavy metal so they can lose their hearing and after that he brainwashed them trying to make them acknowledge what they are made for and they are turned into dolls so inside there inside that is a living doll all right a, a living doll a living female who practically you can only fear her pulse and um, that's most of it because uh, oh and heart beatings you can also feel her heart beatings the rest uh, try to speak with her you cannot she cannot see you she cannot hear you it's practically a crazy story man if you imagine it and in the game welcome to the game you practically as the protagonist are helping this guy to get girls the guy also has a jump scare a few jump scares with when he comes to you and stabs you very hard you disappoint me it is crazy dude and um this guy was very creepy for most of the people just only for that backstory they read from uh, the dark web in the game right imagine if this guy this doctor had the look had exactly the look of tanner right back on the time would he have become the same popular as tanner we know from scrutinized i am thinking that people would have been a little bit messed up to favorize someone like that even if he was looking like tanner but hey, he probably would had. However, what's the point here? Tanner was supposed to look like this old guy, right? This was his first look and nah, it's not. It's a young male um, looking very attractive, you know? 
dressed very sharp and having a very, very charming voice. Now imagine that. Try to imagine this. If Tanner and the Doctor meets together, right? What would you think? Who do you think would win? And I'm not talking about throwing punches at each other. I'm talking about uh, uh, mentally. Yeah, mentally. With conversations and everything. Who do you think would win the argument between these two guys?